Hey y'all, hey, what's up? It's your girl A. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I decided to combine two videos in one and I hope that's okay because we're gonna do it the April way, okay? So you guys, I have been following this jewelry website for quite some time. I do like exquisite fancy jewelry. I do like anything that's more or less has charms, inspired and all type of fanciness. I'm just that type of girl. Plus, you know, I already make jewelry too. So when I seen this website on Instagram, I did follow them because I thought their jewelry was really, really nice, really, really exquisite and really, really different. So the cool thing about it is within a couple of years later I did get a message from them they invited me to do a tutorial or a review for them and girl I'm all for it because let me tell you this if I like you that means I'm gonna follow you and if you reach out to me girl I'm gonna be overly excited so I'm definitely over excited for this video because I love really nice jewelry I do like different jewelry and I do like stuff that I would make and would wear okay their name is Gona and I hope I'm pronouncing it properly but I will say this they are located in one of my vacation spots which is Paris you are in paris girl you can visit them in real life they're not just online they're definitely in person they have like these really really nice boutiques in person to visit in paris so if you're in paris on vacation make sure you check them out girl i'm gonna be there one day give me like a few more years and me and mumsy we have already said this is going to be our vacation spot we're going to take a trip to there baby we're going to get to patty okay so they reached out to me and asked me what i like to do a review if you follow someone hell yeah you want to do a review right okay so i could either have picked what i wanted which was kind of like it wasn't overwhelming but everything was just so nice it was like being a kid in the candy store how can i choose just this amount girl give it to me all oh, give me all of it so i trusted them with faith and with my heart of hearts that they would specially design something for me without me having to pick and choose and sit here for hours and try to figure out well i like this one and then eliminate this one and eliminate that so instead of me having to eliminate anything i decided i would go with them designing me a special set for myself they sent me a bracelet set a necklace and a matching earring i love the necklace but it doesn't really fall on me where i would like the necklace to fall it's kind of all the way up here on me so what i did was i did remove the charm and i put it on my bracelet but i will definitely show you everything that i got in this video so the necklace is a little bit shorter and this is my statement necklace this is the necklace i never removed this is the necklace that stays on me and if you guys are unaware of what this necklace means to me that i'm wearing this is my son's ashes okay if you are not aware my son passed away august 4th of 2019 and i had him cremated because i am not from arizona and wherever i move to or wherever i go i plan to take him with me i did have some of his ashes put into this necklace pendant and i never remove it like it's been on me since day one along with this bracelet and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this purple bracelet in all of my videos it says wuzzle world because that was his nickname and it gives his sunrise date of birth and his sunset data passing so i don't allow too many other necklaces to clash with this necklace at all and being that this one was a little bit shorter it kind of clashed but i will say this i didn't tell them what i liked i didn't tell them what i didn't like i didn't tell them how to just to make the necklace or make the bracelet or make the uh, earring i didn't tell them anything i just went along with give me a surprise because everybody likes to get surprised well when i received the necklace it is a pendant it has one charm on the necklace it was a purple charm the necklace had one charm on it and it was amazing because it, it was spiritual to me it was religious and it was right on time it was a cross and the background of it is purple my son loved kobe he loved kobe Bryant. he loved the lakers and you guys know their colors are purple and yellow so with the background being purple it was like right on time and with it being a cross it made me feel like you know they're speaking to my spiritual sense i wasn't like so spiritual but over the years i have learned that we all have to entrust in some type of spiritual being okay and i know god is with us always every day and if you don't believe in him that's fine but a lot of things i do take very personal but when i did see the brace the necklace excuse me and it had that purple that lakers purple and it had a cross it had a crescent moon it had a heart it just spoke to me because it was like y'all made a surprise but you don't really understand what the surprise means to me so i really really appreciated this gift and i really think like you guys if you get to paris make sure you check out their boutique but if you don't have the opportunity of going to paris you will definitely want to check out gona's online website they have amazing jewelry it comes in exquisite designs oh my god there's so many designs like if they ever invite me again to do another video for them i'm jumping at the opportunity okay like literally i'm jumping at the opportunity i decided to pair it with another video which was a lengthy well it wasn't lengthy but it was me doing my fingernails where a company 
company called Vanity Bay who does specialize in press on nails. So I said, what better way to show off my bracelet and while I'm doing my nails is by incorporating the both of them. So I will definitely link both of the websites below. Vanity Bay is for those of you who like to do press ons and don't want to be constricted to just acrylic or gel nails. Yes, they sell press ons everywhere. They, they actually do. Now I will say this and I'm just going to be honest with Vanity Bay. The glue that is supplied with the nails is a no bueno. You'll definitely need to get something a lot better because my nails popped up like in the evening. I'm not a nail expert. I'm not a nail tech, but I did enjoy the satisfaction of just shooting the video. All the links will be down below. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, stay tuned, and let's just get into this. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. get into this as you see it does come with these sticky little tabs for the nails I've never really used those in embroidery board and a small thing of glue along with an alcohol pad so you can clean off your natural nail bed okay so I chose these ones to do for the video because they were a little bit shorter in length and girl listen I am no professional but listen we're gonna do our best this one is called love in Portfo Portfino and each one of the nails has a different name. So I'm going to be using my own emery board because it's a little bit bigger and thicker. And I'm going to be using my own nail oil because there was none provided. So as you guys see right here, I'm just going to, you know, buff and scratch down my nail bed. So that way it can be super smooth or not super smooth, but a little bit rough. So that way there's texture when applying the nails. Now, these are the other nails that they sent me, which is this pair right here. Winter is coming. I do like the names that they chose for the nails really different, except for one of the nails was a little bit off with the name. And I'm just cleaning the dust and, the, you know, just the buffering dust off of my nails. Now, like I said, I'm no professional. I haven't did press on nails on my own self in so long. Normally, I will go and get them done. But, you know, sometimes I really don't want to keep them on for lengths at a time. So I figured that wearing some press ons would be a lot easier and I can pop them off when I choose to. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the alcohol pad to just make sure my nails are clean you know what sucks um every time my nails get like a nice length they always either break or they just break they always just break now this one right here is called a girl is no one that's the name that really caught me off guard i really wasn't really sure why they named it such but you know hey to each his own i did notice in a couple of these nails that they didn't fit all the way around and that was on my thumbnail and my fingernail my middle finger so let me just show you how your nails come or basically what i got in this package As I was stating, my nails just have the hardest time growing. Um, when they get a certain length, they always seem to break or crack. So that's why my nails are always short. But I will be honest, I do like to get my nails done. I loved getting my nails done. That whole entire year of wearing nails was like amazing. Now, as you see my bracelet from Gona, I love this bracelet. I have been wearing this bracelet every day. It's absolutely beautiful. It has some weight to it. You can always rearrange the charms if you choose to. You don't have to worry about any of them falling off because there are stoppers on the bracelets which restrict them from coming off.
going to have some really, really exquisite jewelry. Very nice. I was really surprised at what they sent me. I was overly surprised. I just felt like I was a kid that got a new toy for Christmas. If you can see by the sparkle, just by the make of each particular piece, it was just made with care. A lot of thought with process was put into making this jewelry. And I will say this is sterling silver. There's sterling silver, so you don't have to worry about any of your jewelry from Gona tarnishing turning or anything like that each one of the charms are double-sided so it will have a really nice backing to it as you've seen on the necklace charm and these are the earrings right here now the earrings do not have a stopper on them so you will need to be careful when just removing the earrings to make sure that none of your charms come off but do you see this bracelet i love it i absolutely love it i've been wearing it a lot i have gotten compliments on it I was asked if it was something that I made and I definitely would have loved to have said yes that I did make something like this. I'm going to give them their props. This is like some really, really beautiful, beautiful jewelry. Now back to the nails. I did have kind of like reshape and resize some of them. One for my thumb and one for my middle finger. And not really for my thumb because there wasn't one bigger than my particular thumb. So on my thumbs, it does have a little bit of the siding showing. Nothing that you will notice, but definitely it wasn't like a really good fit. Check out Gona's Instagram page. They have loads of products that you can check out. Follow them. They have amazing stuff. They even have a Barbie collection. For those of you Barbie fans like myself, if you love pink like me, you definitely want to check them out. They have other themes as well, Frozen, they have birthstones, they have sea creatures. Oh my God, there's so many, many different designs. The one I think that's my favorite out of all of them is probably the one with the dog. Because you know I have my own pet and I love dogs. So the one with the dogs is my favorite. But the one that they sent me was actually my favorite out of all because it just really, really meant a lot to me. But if you're into like sea creatures or any type of themes, you'll definitely want to check them out. I love these bracelets. Look at the dog. He's absolutely cute. Look how cute that is. He's so cute. Mother's Day is coming up. Well, not coming up, but get prepared, girl. You can get something for Mother's Day, Christmas. You could just give a gift just to be given a gift, girl. I'm pretty sure someone out there is going to absolutely love this jewelry. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and size the fingernails down and that's what I was doing right there and just to keep them safe and not to get destroyed like the paint chipping off because I'm not really sure how durable they are I decided to put a clear coat of nail polish on the nails after I finished applying them and because my hands were a little ashy girl you know I had to definitely spruce them up and give them a little bit of oil the glue that came with the actual nails are not really a go-to glue they did start popping off later on in the night and i think i did a damn good job applying them so i would highly suggest to use your own nail glue when applying any type of nails when especially when they come with glue i just really don't trust the glue that comes with the fingernails but for the most part i think they came out really cute i think i did a decent job my hands are nice and oily and my bracelet and my jewelry is looking nice with these nails but I do have other nails that I do want to try out as well. And for the next go around, I'll definitely be putting on some better glue. But I'll list everything down below for you girls and guys. Let me know what you thought about this video. Do you like to put on press on nails? And if I missed a step, which may have helped to hold them longer, please put that in the comments below. Because I don't know, I'm really thinking that it was the glue. But I love you all. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. All of the information will be in the inbox down below.